Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Hey, whenever you're watching, we just thank you for watching. Um, I'm Gordon with This Is How I Did It. Today's video, we are installing this Emporia um, home voltage monitoring system. Um, it's pretty straightforward. Um, I guess the biggest question on installing it is this part of this, okay? This is, and I put this outside the panel. They say to put it in the panel. I'm thinking the only reason they say to put it in panels is because actually those lugs are hot. So you might want to tape those if you do it outside, but inside the panel. So that's really my only thing, but I mean, we have hot stuff all over in here. So I put it outside the panel because the cables weren't long enough to reach in the sub panel. So on these wires, you got the black wire and the red wire that's supposed to tie into a breaker somewhere. Now I had a spare so I just plugged it into this 220 spare here that I have so I have both sides reading both sides okay that's the biggest thing and then the blue and the uh, white are neutrals the blue is for a three phase but we, I don't have three phase so it says to tie the blue and the white down to the neutral um, ground plug lug. and after that you have the two um, commercial power inputs um, when you um, guys when you do this shut off all the power um, as you're running wires through here, it's very, very dangerous. I don't recommend if you if you don't feel comfortable working with power, don't do it. Because no matter even if you turn off that breaker and all the solar stuff, everything, those two lugs coming from commercial power are still hot. Even though you shut that off, those are hot. Don't those two down there. Don't don't mess with them. But yeah, shut off all your power as much as you can. And be very careful about those lugs. Um, like I said, if you're not comfortable with it, don't do it. But anyway, this is how you do it. You hook up one side of these. Um, so you have two. Oh, let's back up. You have these two bigger ones are your, are your inputs, okay? And they're reading your, your power from the commercial power of how much you're actually taking. And then these say, okay, where it's going. Um, in a regular panel, that's, that's easy, easy, right? But I have a hybrid solar system that I got tied into this and so I can read the AC output of this thing and the charge of what it's what it's using to charge the batteries when I don't have enough solar power to actually charge the batteries because this has an onboard inverter in it so I can keep track of that also of exactly what I use just to do that to charge that okay so the way I did this is I have um, all these are um, the smaller 50 amp there's 16 of them I'm reading basically the important stuff that I want to, I really want to, you know, have ideas of what it's using. Um, like this one here is my well. I don't really care about what that's using because I can't restrict it. It's the well, you know. Um, these are going out to the shop so I can read that. Um, so like if I had a renter out there, someday I might put in a, a tiny home and it would end up tying into this breaker. So in that regard, I could actually read how much power they're using and charge them accordingly if I ever wanted to do that um, and then this is my hot tub I got that on there um, this line right here is what's going out to feed the, the charge controller in that I'm sorry not charge controller the uh, onboard charging system so that is how I can read that and on these like this is a a 240 volt double pole breaker I only have to do one of these because when it pulls, it pulls the same exact power from both of them. Um, but like on my sub panel out in the shop, I put it on both legs because they don't, it doesn't pull identically. That one would pull identically. Um, the water heater would pull identically. The, the, the pump, I mean, all those would pull identical power out of both of them. Um, the oven does not, you know, because some of the breaker would be for the oven. Some would be for the stovetop. So anyway, that's how I hooked it up. Um, once you get all hooked up, just power cycle that breaker. And then you'll um, start the program on the app. And it'll say, hey, do you see the Wi-Fi? And it'll, you know, it'll log in and grab its Wi-Fi. And away you go. It's easy setup. Easy, easy setup. I would recommend it. The biggest thing is just trying to keep these wires cleaned up. It is, I mean, your panels are already full. It's not made to... I mean, it is made to do exactly what I, what we did here, but I mean, panels get pretty full. Anyway, in a nutshell, I like it. We're gonna go ahead and look at the uh, 
the actual app side of it now, I think. So we can do with that. Actually, there's all kinds of videos for the apps, for actually running the app side. It's easy, easy to do. Um, but this is just, you know, the wiring of it. Um, and I, oh, on these, so this is my solar inputs, okay, from the inverter. So on this, you can tell in the program, when you program the app, you say, okay, these are actually solar inputs. And on the back of these, it says which way the breaker is. Right there, it says breaker. On these, it's going to be opposite of what you would think because they're inputs. So these are going to be backwards. So basically, the breaker would be this. So on these, if you're feeding power in, you want to make sure that these are the right direction. Um, on these, on the main inputs, it says the breaker, they're, you know, they're labeled right. All these smaller ones are supposed to be outputs, but you can use these, switch them around, use them for um, inputs instead of outputs. And that's how we did it. It's pretty simple, simple. Like I said, this is a hybrid. Um, basically, it's an off-grid with backup commercial power, so it's not really off-grid, but it's called a hybrid. And anyway, this is how we did it with a sub-panel. Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching. Give us a thumbs up if you like what we're doing. Uh, hit the subscribe button for more videos. Have a good day.